So I've had this machine a couple of years now. Um, it came with a uh, tiller and a four foot sickle mower. Um, now when I got it, I originally took the oil fill out with dipstick and about a couple of litres of water came out of the engine. So it was in a bad way when I got it. Um, but I went through and totally rebuilt the engine. Um, and you got the engine working really well. Um, one problem when I took the bits was the main housing for the clutch broke. Um, it's all locked up and the process of removing it to uh, unlock it broke the housing. So I've had it for a couple of years and not been able to actually run it as a machine. So in the last couple of weeks I've been actually looking at getting a clutch to get it working properly. So in case you've never taken one of these to bits before, it's basically just like a small car clutch. So the main housing with quite a big spring. Uh, a movable pressure plate on the back. Clutch material with internal spline. Front housing, which bolts through to the back of the housing, keeps everything in place. You've got an internal and external spline. Now this internal spline is what matches to the gearbox input. And then you have your release bearing. And there are two fingers on the gearbox housing that push this release bearing to activate it all and free it all up. Now, when I got this, this whole thing was locked solid and would not release, no matter what I did. It had just been left for too long. Now the instructions on how to fix that is you have to separate this housing, you have to set the front off the back. But So this is the spring, this is how long the spring wants to be, right? So it, in order to, when it's in one piece, this spring's about 40% of that length. It sits up in about here. So you have to take the tension off the spring. In order to do that, you have to put the whole thing in a vise, which means it has to come off the engine. So you take the release bearing and the spline out, and through the centre, you can take out the bolt off the end of the engine and then you put a puller on it and you pull the whole lot off as a unit but unfortunately when I did that all that happened was I smashed the back of the housing so it came off in 10 pieces rather than just the whole thing coming off and then I can put it in a vise to take the tension off and uh, unstick it so that got me quite annoyed because my housing is now in a pile of bits and it sat in a box for a couple of years while I still looked at it Anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I finally got annoyed with it. So I got the micrometer out, measured up a whole pile of dimensions on this, and redesigned it. So there's a whole pile of bits in this that have just been too um, over-optimized, so I've just been made too thin. There's, there's too many cutouts, and it's made of, like, what, 4 mil junk, die-cast alley, and it just wasn't strong enough. And on this back corner, it just sheared off on, on the corner. So I made it thicker where I could, made, altered the design to make it thicker, um, or especially on this corner where it goes round. Um, and then I got a block of alley, took it to a local engineering place, and I got them to machine up housing. Did quite a nice job. I've put in a taper, uh, sorry, a keyway slot, because it's got a, a keyway in this. Now what I've got to do is I've got to cut in the four castles where the pressure plate sits in. So this pressure plate sits in here and moves forward and backwards. The spring is trying to push it forwards, trying to clamp the um, clutch material to the back of the front cover. So I need four slots and also I need four holes for bolts. So I've only got um, four bolts, I don't know what I'm going to do in galve or stainless. So I'm going to cut four across out of this and then drill it through. So then the bolts are going to go all the way through this time rather than just stopping it part way through. So that's my current job. So a little while later I made some good progress on getting this castle sorted out. Just used the pressure plate to give me some markings. Uh, Went through the sharpie, cut them down through this lower lip, which is where this sits in here. Uh, and that fits in there pretty well now. There's still a heap of material on that clutch. I mean, it's barely worn at all. So that is looking uh, pretty good. 
So now all I need to do is sort out the four holes for the ball bolts and bolt the whole thing together. So something similar again, use the pressure plate as my template, give me some centers and put it in the draw press and hopefully keep everything square enough that it'll work. So we go. Okay, so this is the last hole. Three of them are through. Last one. So it should be the last bit of machining to do on this. It should be assembly after this. looking for when you touch the drill down if it kinks off one side and you know it's not straight not, uh, not aligned The mountain block which it's all flat this is the only thing that's keeping the, the bed is perpendicular to the frame of check that it wasn't affixed that so these blocks are only thing keeping the whole thing parallel so if there's any debris and stuff in here my um, hole will not be um, straight down like everything needs to be perpendicular otherwise it's just not going to work <laughs> So now, I should have, see I've got a socket and put some insulation tape, masking tape on it, just use that as a centering dowel, so it fits in there, and that fits over the top, just to give me a point of reference when I marked it all out. And that looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm kind of amazed this has actually worked. I really thought those holes were going all over the place. Excellent. Cool. So I think that turned out pretty well. Right? Went around it, just did a deburr, took off any sharp edges. That finished item looks pretty cool. a whole pile better than that pile of bits. Right, let's see if we can put it together. Eh? So we're going to have to use the big bias to squish it all together. 
I've not done this before, so I'll just see how this goes. It's always been broken all the time, haven't it? Now I've got to squash it in the vice. Cap on. I think that's, yeah, that's loose right now. So that's far enough in that the pressure plate is not locked. I'm trying to get this flush to the outside, there's not a massive clearance to the case on the gearbox, so I don't want these sticking out. I think that's a finished clutch. I think that's a finished clutch. Excellent. All right, see if we can get it on the engine here. Right, so we have a finished clutch, I believe. And we've got an engine. Let's see if we can get the two together. Get the key in. Flat. straight down the centre and so there's a taper in here and a keyway so it should be pretty well stuck
think that's on there. And I think that is a finished clutch. I left these slightly long, um, but the fingers are down here. I should have enough clearance so that even when this is turning, the fingers will be down here. And I'll check that before I put it in. But I think that is good. So I've got all the clutch on the engine. Let's see if we can get this thing mounted and actually uh, get it to do something. Okay, so the engine's on there, just need to get the throttle uh, connected. Thank you. 